Don't adjust your TV sets. The weirdness is just about to get started. But before it does, I wanted to give a quick shout out to some channel members. Junior Price, D Dumpy 12, Mr. Diamante, Philosophers Inc, otherwise known as Philo, The Economist, Darcy Kins, Leslie Santana, Yorkie Queen Shorts, Excanthia, Brian O'Neill, Duke, Nick Marillo, Carrie Wayne, and Psycho Spear. Seriously, this video and me continuing to do what I do wouldn't have been possible without them. So a big shout out to the channel members who helped make this channel awesome. I hope everybody enjoys the video. Welcome to Night Signal. Whatever we plant in our subconscious mind and nourish with repetition and emotion will one day become a reality. Earl Nightingale. Ooh. What is this? What is it? Looks like a little claymation house. Is this our house? Is this where we're at watching our TV? It looked very nondescript, very uh, Pleasantville-esque. All the houses are the same. Who is this a picture of me? I look like a potato head. What in the world? That's uh, everything is not okay with you, sir. I'm sorry. What's going on outside of our house? We can actually look. Whoa! I thought it was supposed to be nighttime, like night signal. Holy crap, it's bright out there. What is going on? There's another picture of someone with like a weird face. That one's really creepy. Oh, that's not good, guys. Look at that clock. Holy crap. Congratulations on your new Heininger television. With your install package, you should receive one remote dial, two, one television. Three, one antenna set. Your remote dial will allow you to switch stations from anywhere. Try it on for size by clicking the dial backward or forward. Batteries included. If your picture is fuzzy, try adjusting the antenna to get a better signal. Warning, antenna do not operate correctly at night. Please refrain from using after sundown. Enjoy your new television. Okay, so the antenna doesn't work at night? Why not? <laughs> That's... Dun dun dun! What? Why? Why does it the antenna work at night? All right. So channel two, we got nothing. Channel three, nothing. Four, nothing. One, still nothing. All right. We're supposed to manipulate the antenna, even though it told us not to. Okay, nothing there. What's that sound? Oh. That's the sound of wisdom. Wisdom you can only get here. You're watching Channel One News. Channel One News. Welcome, folks. Whoa. I'm Benson Brown, and this is Channel One News. Today's big story is about the latest innovation in technology. What the hell? The brand new Hineker television set. Hineker? Okay. You have no doubt heard about these new devices, as they have skyrocketed off store shelves and into the homes of Americans everywhere. What's wrong with you? Why is an ordinary television so popular? Something's wrong well, with your face. Convenience is key, it seems, as this set comes with a state of the art remote dial that lets you access your channel dial from anywhere in your home. Oh Between boy. The dial and that crystal clear picture. It's no wonder that this is a must own item for every household. Just make sure to turn it off after midnight. As the manufacturer does warn, there are still some kinks to work out when the network stop broadcasting each night. Oh. And now, a word from our sponsor. <laughs> I love Gosh, I need to get to work on time. There's a my hole in his chin. Cold. What's wrong? I need to eat in the next 30 seconds or else my boss will have my head. What what's why is there a hole in his chin? Microwave. Micro what? I don't have time for this. I'm going to be late for work and I'm <laughs> Micro <also hungry>. what? <laughs> The Zippy Microwave can heat up anything in just 30 seconds. What? Watch. Welcome back to Brain Tees. America's favorite trivia show. I'm your host, Humphrey Winters. Why does everybody look so messed up in this? It's really creeping me out. Like, disproportionate bodies and faces and everything like that. They freak me the hell out in horror. I discovered the technological capabilities of lunar dust in 1960. Howard Hineker? Correct! The technological capabilities of now watch lunar out. dust? This next one is a real brain teaser. What does that mean? When you don't Jack use lunar dust to make TVs. Starring role as Ruby in the award winning sitcom Ball and Chain. The You're fog the space. space between all known reality. A place oh, it's where like the Twilight Zone. Hell yeah. Science is always lost and faith always misplaced. You are entering the fog space. 
Can we sit down? No. In this episode, we'll be following the footsteps of a Miss Bethany Bellows. Bethany is an ordinary woman taking an evening stroll. But unknown to her, she's just taken her first steps into the fog space. And now back to Ball and Chain. Fog space. Oh no, Bethany. She just took her first steps oh in a fog space. It's become so foggy all of a sudden. How peculiar. <laughs> Perhaps I should head back home before it gets any foggier. She's about to get attacked Wait, by what? That's not my home. This isn't my street. Where am I? Oh no. Oh. What's that? What the hell? Who are you? I don't recognize you. Get away. Get away. I mean, his face is a little better looking than yours. I got to be honest. All the other people's faces are messed up. And now, a, w a word from our sponsor. So this is supposed to be like, what is that show? Fuck, I'm gonna get so much shit for this because I don't know it. Uh, the Ricardos or no, 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 no. Hold on. I mean, that's the name of the couple in the show, but is it uh, Lucy? You know, it's got Lucille Ball. And uh, is Ricky Ricardo the guy's actual name or just the character name? I don't know. It's got those two in it, right? I think the show is named like uh, Lucy and Ricky, Ricky and Lucy. Fuck, that's gonna bother the shit out of me that I can't remember that. Our broadcast day. Uh oh. Uh oh. Broadcast day's up. Did I hear somebody knocking? <gasps> What the hell? It's no longer daylight. What happens if I look out? Whoa. All right. Somebody slipped something under the door. TV Guide 1963 edition. Copyright Heineker. Okay. This is completely blank. I can see times here like 12, 4. But it's blank right now. There's a ton of pages. Okay. Oh, and I can use Q to open. Why is there fog? What the hell? Am I in the fog space? Why is there fog? And then there's like bioluminescence in my little house. All right, first off, is anything on TV? No, so we have to move the antenna, right? Let's check. After we move that, anything on TV? Nope. Okay, that has just two positions. So what if we have them both up? Oh God. Hold and release spacebar. Surge. A new TV guide entry has. What does this do? What did I just do? What is that doing? Hold and release spacebar. Surge. I'm so confused. What is that doing? All right. It said, uh, okay. Watcher's eye. A night dedication to eyes everywhere. Its visage brings a jolt of pep and a heart of mind to every household. Its surging energy is yours to wield. Look upon Watcher's eye and anything is a possibility. Be welcome, Watcher. Behold. What the hell does that mean? I don't. Does that mean that thing's watching me? Hell no, nah, dude. I'm in my house. I don't want anything watching me. Oh, it actually like sends out a little thing. Is this how I... Okay. Nothing on three, nothing on four. Watcher's eye, though. What does that do? Does it, like, power up my remote? Okay. Let's try moving this antenna right here to the other position. What do we get? Nothing on three, nothing on four. Uh-oh. Who's coming to my house after midnight? Just knocking on the door. Is this the next day? Read, welcome fellow watcher, your eye has been opened. Rejoice, the more you watch, the better you'll see. Seek more signals tonight and let the guide teach you its blessings. What? Oh, so it's daytime again. Welcome back, we folks. have TV like I'm that. Benson Brown, and this is Channel One News. So besides the people looking Today's messed up. The story is about one brave little puppy named George. Besides the people looking messed up, the daytime TV is pretty... Pretty normal, right? 
Well, it appeared that George's owner had gone missing a few nights ago. I hear George outside. George managed to sneak out of his home and tried his darkest to help. And now back to only to help spread the word. Local authorities are now investigating the missing person, identified as 23-year-old Alice Prairie. All thanks to one to only little puppy. Who I like will be receiving an honorary award from the police chief later this evening. <laughs> now that's what I call a good Aww, boy. Definition of a good boy. And yep. Now, Word from our sponsor. I like that when you switch channels, it keeps Gosh, your place on the prior channel. Sure is, is that that lunar dust? Just eggs, bacon, toast, potatoes, this is gonna be a cereal commercial. Steak, fresh fruit. I wish I could have something exciting for once. Me too, dude. Good news. Sugar, munch. sugar munch. Crunch, 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 crunch motherfucker. Oh wait. What's all those black specks in it? That doesn't look like sugar crystals. It's literally just sugar crystals with black specks. It's not a substitute. Disclaimer, if you eat this, you will die in less than a year. That's what that disclaimer actually means, right? Welcome back, folks. I'm Benson Brown, and this is right, let's see what's going on. Only father knows. Son, let me tell you what it means to truly be a man. Okay. <laughs> be a man, son, means never showing emotion. Let, let me you teach you what it means to be a man. Okay. Being a man, son, <laughs> means you gotta put on real big shoes. Not clown shoes, though. Not like clown shoes. Okay. Clowns aren't real men. Clowns are real, man. Man, that's clownist. Don't touch that dime. Oh, it's the don't box piece. And don't look behind you. What? You've stepped into the fog what? space. Don't look behind me. It's just a creepy dude right there. In this episode, we trace the steps of a Mr. Patrick Pinkerton, a formerly faithless man who recently found a newfound faith in an unlikely place. <laughs> a formerly Not faithless man who recently found a newfound faith. faith. Unlucky for him. This particular guide was packaged, postage, and shipped from the fog space. From fog space. I can't come to the funeral. God, I love the Twilight Zone. Dangerous. I can't. Oh, Patrick. Can't Such a good show. I even randomly life. will catch episodes like on one of my local broadcast understand. stations because I don't have cable. I've shown you. Um, yeah, my wife and I just have exactly like Hulu, Netflix, says. you know, stuff like that. Um, subscription service TV, but we have a uh, digital antenna, so we get a bunch of different local channels. And on the local, some of the local channels, late at night, they will play episodes, reruns of Twilight Zone. This concludes our broadcast. Some of the episodes day. are still good and like hold up today. I mean, granted, it's television from the 60s and 70s, right? So it's, it's way back then, but still. Well, that's all there is for tonight. Let's adjust the antennas here and see what we get. The fuck is this? Okay, watch her here. I don't know what the hell that means. Can I look at my TV guide? Blabber. Fun, relatable conversation to have come out of a mouth. Listen with sincerity, talking about anything just as a close personal companion would in a shop for water beans. Take your time for blabber. What the f <laughs> What the fuck kind of shit is blabber? What the fuck, blabber? What happens if I zap you? Fun and relatable conversation, huh? It's oh, wait, wait, wait. What the fuck is this? Why did I get real small? Why the hell am I melting? Am I melting? That thing's melting. Why am I like melting? Oh, let's read Goo Goo. Goo Goo helps you remember the small time. You are nothing. You are but pathetic flesh mass. You are small. You are melt. Desirables out of reach. Melting. You are slime. Goo Goo brings you back. The simpler time. What? the hell oh and up here is like how the antenna have to be to get this right what the hell is goo goo it makes you small and melt what the fuck dude i can get under the teeth no i can't actually go under all right do we have anything else that is so weird it shrinks you i don't like that that's that that motion that feeling is freaking weird man what happens if we set it back this way whoa Ah! Fuck 
fucking hell oh i actually gotta i actually gotta hit these things is that what this is what the fuck they came out of the goddamn tv oh hell no what was that the feelers ticklish entertainment guaranteed to make you wiggle <laughs> the feelers send an invitation for you to take part in the shenanigan feel a tingle and a tickle it may be a fantabulous fingerful feeler at your feet whoa god dude i def Ooh. I just got like I got the kind of scared where like you get like goosebumps like across your shoulders and arms like and you f I felt like something was touching me yeah that's what I get for recording in the dark in this fucking small closet oh man that was creepy as hell I did not like that okay I must have survived to the day right it's normal to be scared watcher, but they harm us not to punish, but to teach. Study them, see them. You are well on your way. What does that mean? They harm us to teach? Read. Beeble, wargle, fro, needs, pup, wabble, beagle, bow, pog, yippee, woe, deagles, pan, non, non, shug, peel the bone, waggle, 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 do not the fog. Stay Beeble Orb Dipper the Glipper Watch Nopers. I'm getting these papers on the wall. I didn't notice this from all the weird ass programs. It says the same goddamn thing. What does that mean? They all say the same thing. What the hell? All right. What is going on? And now back to cave oh, it's like the Flintstones, right? Cave, why? Where did you put my cave keys? <laughs> yeah, it was exactly like the Flintstones. There's Velma, and we just saw Fred. Did you clean the cave kitchen? I did, cave husband. <laughs> I did, cave husband. My cave keys are in the cave garbage disposal. Oh, no. So dumb. Now back to brain tease. Hello, folks. I'm Humphrey Winters, and this is Brain Tease. Humphrey Winters. What a name. Engage in a game of wits to win. All right, you're boring me, Humphrey. Spencer Hanson. Uh oh. Thank you, Benson. <laughs> you know, we've been having what quite the jizzy of nonstop fog this past week. Just think of your mother's <laughs> broth. Today is more of the same. Spencer's face the got me. Even thicker. The way he's That's posed so with his face road. next to that shit. Be sure to keep a sharp eye out on those roads today. Or better yet, stay indoors if you have nowhere to it's be. It's fucking hilarious. You'll want to keep yourself bundled up too because, baby, it's cold out there. Looking to hit less than five degrees. I hear that dog barking in the background. Chocolate weather where I'm from. Delicious. What? Back to you, Benson. So I'll come to it. Let's see what the fog space is, like is doing. Answer, for you've just entered the fog space. The fog space. Today's episode, we will learn what it means to wield a power beyond belief. Meet Hank Humdinger, the CEO of a major American technology company. <laughs> Humdinger. Hank has been hiding a secret. Is Humdinger is the bad guy way. from the Paw Patrol movie. <laughs> I know that because I have, I have young kids. But <laughs> that's immediately what my mind goes to. Can you guys tell I've watched way too much fucking Paw Patrol? That's scary enough in its own right. Well, that's why I'm such a great CEO. Oh, God. What? No. No, I'm not ready. We had a deal. You're not ready? What? Gave you our secret? What the no, fuck is this? I need more time. I just need more time. Oh, he entered the fog space. Yeah, that's right. They used to play like the national anthem or the American flag at the end when broadcasts end. I remember my parents telling me, my parents were a lot older than, uh, like, between 10 and 20 years. My parents had a little bit of an age gap, but still, my parents were between 10 and 20 years older than, um, most kids' parents my age, so my parents definitely remembered this stuff. Like, the 60s television and everything. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? I don't like this. You feel like you're about to come out of the TV. Can I zap you? No. What the fuck is this? Kazoo. What's that ear piercing sound? It must be kazoo time. This form gives way to the best and audible experience. 
soundscapes for your unborn offspring to dance the night away? Sounds creepy as fuck. No, thank you. Oh God, you're just creepy as hell. All right, let's see what else we got. What if we do this? Oh, a new TV guide entry. Why is this? See oh God, what? Watch your head. Some signals can affect the environment. Oh my God. Okay, so we kept our progress. That's good. Fucking blabber. Shut up, son of a bitch. Gotta turn the channel. Oh, the ceiling actually goes down. Oh my God, and the ceiling stays down. Oh my God. Uh, there was a knock on the door. Okay, I'll leave it on Kazoo. What was the knock on the door? Ah! What the fuck are you? What the hell? Dude, look, the ceiling is so goddamn low. So we probably got the ceiling thing. Flathead. Flathead makes your top drop. Tops need not be top with flathead. Enjoy the crumble of top as they descend. You can be a flathead too. Sing the song of flattened merriment. Crumble, 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 crumble. All right, I don't know what I was doing there. Sorry, guys, I got into it. Whoa! What the fuck, dude? Can I change the channel? Ah, uh, Beezal! What the fuck? What the fuck, Beezal? I shouldn't look, right? It's gonna be that Beezal thing. Fucking hell, he's gonna come through. I need to get the TV back. What the hell? Beezal laughing antic. Beezle, laughing antics and chortle expressions are provided for the whole family unit. Join Beezle every night and share in the belly fun. If you can't make time for Beezle, Beezle will surely make time for you. Fuck the feelers. Do I gotta change channel? Why are there cracks in my house? Why the hell are there cracks in my goddamn house? Oh my god. If you keep going back to feelers, they'll keep coming. Shouting one. Hold on. Silent shouts make the day slide. Feel strong, raw anxiety inside. Let it out. Let it ride. You become what you are afraid. Scream as loud as you can, but noise do not. It's almost time, but not yet. Shout now or shout never. What the fuck? What the fuck's happening? Why are there pictures being taken? Oh my god. What does this say? Did I survive another day? Your eyes are adjusting. You see as you are meant to see. Do not lose faith, watcher. Westacre chili contest has been canceled. We received the news this morning as the Westacre mom council informed us that due to another unfortunate disappearance, there would no longer be enough qualified chili tasters to judge the entries. The Westacre mom council is... Why is my signal so bad? Man, the signal is bad. Wait, 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 what? Can I go through here? No. So there's another... There's another disappearance. What the hell is going on? Wait, the programs are like overlapping. What the hell? Uh, something's wrong with my TV. Can I get a refund, please? I feel like I would have taken this back to the store like the first night. I can't watch TV during the day anymore. What else am I supposed to do with my life? I just live in this one room. Oh, Joy, it's nighttime. I'm so excited. Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck are you? Let's leave it right there. What did that do? We got to read. Humdrum, the bug of one and only. Humdrum wants to make the bad in your body good again. Let your fleshy fruit blossom bloom with the hum. Space your thoughts and have no quarrel with humdrum. Does that actually, does that like heal you? Yeah, I think it might heal you because it brings up the heart icon up top. Oh God, ceiling. And now we got goo goo. 
What is this? Okay, what was that? Sweets. Make time for thought with sweets. Thought of the unknowable. Make unheard wishes to those inside the fog. Your wish come true. Sweets knows it won't, but sweets can't be stopped. Sweets must wish. Keep wishing. Keep wishing. Why the fuck is this all over my screen? And why was there a knock at my door? Oh, God. It's, uh, it's, uh, oh, man. Shit is going on. There's crap all over my face. I'm not going to be able to see. We got to adjust the antenna again, guys. Okay, that's Blabber. We're good with that. That's the Watcher. We're okay. Kept hitting the TV. Will you die? You forehand bitch. I don't know what you guys do. Oh, no. I just triggered more feelers. And I hit myself. Fuck, guys. Oh, I survived. Oh, God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Oh god, the days become shorter as the nights grow longer. The glorious fog is coming to take the faithful. Seek more signals, grow your knowledge. The everlasting night is nearly upon us. Dude, my house is breaking down. All right, better question. How many pages are we missing from our TV guide? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. We're missing six pages. So we haven't found six. I hear a siren outside. Oh, there we go. My house, the cracks are getting worse. Is it just me or are there more cracks? Not a fan. Not a fan of there being all these cracks. Let's see, what do we got? What is this? Oh God! It's a... Uh, it's like fly, fly... It's like feelers, but they're flying. Oh God. Oh God. Oh god, I almost died right there. Holy fuck, what was that? Quackers. Quack, quack, quack. It's quackers. Mouth full of bread. Flutter and swim. So swell. Swollen, so wet. Gristle and crunch with the tune of quack. Whole family is entertained by quack antics. What the fuck is going on? What is this? Okay, he healed me. Yes, this thing, it does heal you. What is this? Oh, the ceiling. Fuck. Oh god, what is this? Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Change the antenna, change the fucking antenna. What is this? Skelly is pleasing to your bones. Feel your bones, listen to them. They desire the soil and Skelly Welly aims to please. Skelly gives the gift of soil to all watchers that wish. Wish for your bones. What the fuck does that mean, dude? I don't like quackers. That's the ceiling. That's Skelly. It's like saying the TV is like saying skeleton. Kill Skelly? Yeah, we killed Skelly. Fuck you, Beazle. Fuck you. Fuck you, Beazle. Fuck you. Fuck you, Beazle. We're gonna we're gonna dodge you, Beazle. Oh god. Beazle, get the fuck away. Yo, I watched Beazle and he went away! Hell yeah, my table is broke though, dude. Oh, oh, we made it! Yeah, we made it! Let's go! Fucking pros! The time is nigh. Watcher's night is upon us. Tonight, the faithful will be saved. Find the remaining gaps in your knowledge. Seek signal wisdom in its entirety, and you too may experience the eternal bliss of the fog. What the fuck? Is this like a cult? Uh-oh. Watcher, night is upon us. What the fuck, dude? Oh, no. It's on every goddamn channel. Oh, God. This is so... This is stressful. I can't do it. Oh, fuck. We're at night again, guys. Oh, God. What's the channel going to be? I feel like everything's going to have something now. Yep. Okay. Kazoo. We can deal with you. Healer. Okay. So this way, channel four is the healer. One. Uh, those are the flying things. We can deal with Kazoo. The quackers. Quack, 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 motherfuckers.
I'm gonna die. All right, hold on. We gotta go to channel four. We gotta get our health back. All right. Somebody there? Okay, we don't want you because I don't know what you're doing. You make that small. You make that. Skelly, we didn't really want Skelly. But he's here. I don't know what that is. We're gonna have to pause. Fuck you, Skelly. The night orb. Tell it like it is. That's the motivation of this sacred orb. Witness the light of forbidden knowledge. Feel the vibration of your skull. Know it is truth in your sensations. Keep the secrets deep inside your brain hole. Brain hole? What the fuck is your brain hole? I don't have a brain hole. Fuck that shit, dude. Uh oh, new entry. What is that? Hubs. Hubs knows what is best. He is the one and only Hubs. The ground on which you stand is slow, weak, gooey, and Hubs. Righteous eyes. You cannot live up to Hubs. Oh, fuck, guys. How many are we missing now? We're missing two, right? What the fuck, dude? What is it? I don't get it, man. We got no bad guys. What is this? The eyeball? The final signal has now appeared. Gaze gives sight to the watching. Let gaze see inside. Gaze gives the eyes the strength to fulfill. Be fulfilled and seek the new true. Feel proximity to the fog and rejoice. Dude, we're missing one signal. What the hell? He's all in all the pictures now. That's it. That's it. We did it. We got it. The last entry. The door. Only wide open eyes can see. Can you see? Can you hear? Wishes, tastes, and good noises await those who enter. Enter and be free of the soil. Be free of the static. Be free of feet. Be free of mind. Enter or do not leave. I don't want to lose my feet and my mind. Why is the TV getting so big? Why is the TV getting so fucking big? And the eye is still here and the fucking moon thing is still floating around? I don't know. I can't use my remote anymore. I can't use my remote. Am I supposed to go in this? What the fuck, dude? Oh God. Oh God. Oh God, what am I supposed to do? Enter this door? The TV got fucking massive, dude. Oh God. Someone's knocking at the door. I don't like it. I don't like it. Look, oh shit. What the fuck is gonna happen? What the fuck? Oh, I get a robe. I get to become a... I get to become a part of the cult. I'm a part of the cult. Oh, what the fuck? You are invited. West Acre Chili Show, 1963, November 7th to 9th. Did we all ascend to the moon? That's a robe. Created by Nick Lives. Did we all go to the moon? We all ascended to the next plane of being. We've made it, guys. We have made it. Everything is good. Fog footage by Vectees. It's pretty nice. So was this like, was this like a cult that was sending out these weird signals? All right, there's an art book apparently. Let's take a look at this. Night Signal, the art book. Introduction. Hi, I'm Nick Lives, the creator of Night Signal. If you're reading this, it means you played the whole game through to the end and I appreciate your time and eyeballs. This is a peek into the game's art and process. Regardless of what you thought of it, Night Signal is the result of a whole lot of love and messy labor. Enjoy this look into the loving mess. Uh, influences. One of my all-time favorite horror experiences comes from a 1995 point-and-click adventure game by Inkscape called The Dark Eye. The game used stop-motion puppets to represent all of its human characters, and it gave the whole game this creepy mood where you were never quite comfortable even in safe 
places. Thanks to their uncanny designs, it was an utterly unique experience and I've wanted to create something even vaguely similar to it for some time. I also grew up on the Twilight Zone, which I also found to have this consistent feeling of uncanniness and was just bursting with creativity in every episode. The Twilight Zone is synonymous with the concept of horror television to me. So when the idea for a horror game about watching television came up, it was the first thing I thought of when it came to visual influences. Man, those fucking faces are just, uh, that bottom screenshot is from a Twilight Zone episode. I remember seeing that. Uh, Clay Guy, I tend to tackle game development aesthetics first. So naturally, the very first thing I did after setting up a basic room with a television set in it was to create this little clay head. I don't have a green screen, so you'll see I often just take pictures in front of my computer screen with a green image displayed on it to help me crop the clay figures out more easily. I slapped this head onto some public domain footage of a man talking and immediately loved the resulting uncanny contrast it created. Who was this dude? No clue. I could figure that out later. Aw, oh, dude. So that's that weird guy from the fog space, right? Uh, grinning guy. At this point in development, the game design document I had created said little more than you watch TV and spooky things come on at night. So I next molded this creepy grinning head to start messing around with what I thought would be creepy to see on the TV after nightfall. The first signal was created by taking my photos of this grinning dude and throwing some public domain footage of a forest fire over him to create this kind of otherworldly atmosphere for him to reside in. TV guy and kazoo or Kazuzu, Ka Kazuzu, is that how you say that? I continued churning out models for creepy content and for the daytime television segments, just molding whatever seemed like it would make for a neat visual. Or in the case of the TV guy, what would be a good baseline for how the average Joe looks in the world? TV guy and the original Clayhead would go on to be the templates for every character in the daytime television segments. After those two molds were made, I started going through a period of hand nerve pains. And so for a while, I tried to craft a story that would work well with what little I had already modeled. Story concept sketches. Now that the baseline mood and style was figured out, I played for a long time with what exactly the story would be, attempting when possible to base it around the existing cast of clay figures I had already made. Out of these concepts and stories, though most were scrapped, came the television's creator, Mr. Heineker, a fog space where the creatures in the television were broadcasting from, and a cult of people who worship the things that broadcast at night. Night Signal was being developed between other projects, so for a while at this stage, the game continued developing purely on paper. More brainstorming on random scraps of paper and notebooks would lead to the introduction of combat via a remote that can blast electrical charges and signals affecting the game world. 3D models. It's worth noting that one of my weaknesses as a game developer is a lack of 3D modeling experience. I'm kind of terrible at it, but I wanted some of the signals to come after you, so I made a few in a free web-based modeling program. Luckily, the aesthetic of lumpy little clay figures establishes a pretty flexible baseline for how accurate a model has to look. Rigging was unnecessary for floating heads and pre-rigged skeleton models with their heads swapped out and UV mapping unnecessary given the clay models themselves are already a uniform color and texture. Signal mop-ups. After all the brainstorming and story experiments were through, I began to miss the actual process of making clay models and decided, screw it, the story should allow for as many of these fun weird things as possible. The design shifted to being about discovering all of the signals over the course of many nights instead of revolving around just a few. To that end, I crafted a demo of the concept and sketched up a bunch of ideas for different signals with different effects. These sketches were thrown together in their own videos so that I'd have these sketches were thrown together into their own videos so I'd have all the signals in the game for testing purposes while the real signals would be crafted over time goo goo and flathead when modeling resumed I wound up buying a new tape when modeling resumed I wound up buying a new type of air drying clay that would be softer and not strain my hands as much as the previous oil based clay did the catch is there's now a time limit on how long I can spend sculpting since the air drying process acts quickly all afternoon I wound up sculpting and taking photos of as many signal figures as I can using the concept sketches as a guide. Most of these are larger than previous sculpts, so I opt out of trying to position them in front of my monitor and settle for the and settle for the blank black background of my desk. To save on clay, most of the figures are destroyed and remodeled as soon as they are photographed. The top-down lighting scheme of an overhead office light fixture doesn't look great for all figures, 
So sometimes I just stop out of the chroma key friendly photograph situation entirely and just lifted them around my office until the lighting or shadows looked better. At some point I thought that getting the clay wet would help it last longer before drying and while that was sort of true, it also made them sticky and regularly caked my hands in a mess of wet clay residue. Made for some good and weird looking photos though. Oh, those are the eyeballs. That's tight. Hum drum and a plate of eyes. At one point in the Mad Dash sculpting night, I got the idea in my head that it might be cool to film my face while it had fox clay eyes over my own eyes, which could then be edited in post to blend it better and get a real uncanny valley thing going. Anyway, I chickened out of placing these slabs of clay over my eyes because I worried about getting clay residue on my eyes. The bright side is I now have a weird photo of these clay things on a plate in my phone. Blabber and Cereal. Blabber was meant to be a weird little guy who talks really fast, so I realized using clay might not be the best here since I don't have the proper setup to do frame by frame animation with a little clay dude. So I grabbed a paper towel, got it damp, drew two little eyes on it, and had David film me while I made him talk. Later on, when it came to depict a cereal bowl of sugar munch cereal, I thought it would be funny to take a photo of a bowl full of ice and rice salt to maybe give the impression of enlarged sugar crystals i don't know if it looks accurate but it sure looks weird it does look weird as hell the daytime television stations were my way of communicating the culture events and history of the outside world in night signal but in keeping with the spirit of the dark eye, i still wanted them to be a little uncanny to that end i wound up using a mix of public domain photos photoshop touch-ups and my generic clay face guys to create most of the characters that would show up in the daytime segments most segments are based on popular american television of their early 60s and late 50s. I Love Lucy was the name of the show. God damn it. Jeopardy, Father Knows Best, etc. Advertisements. Like the daytime segments, advertisements were another story tool for showcasing the technology of the game's world and also just an outlet for the more satirical elements of the story. The Zippy Microwave and Sweet Dream Radio were from scratch digital paintings, unlike a lot of the photo manipulation happening for other daytime segments. Intro sequence. After the game's structure was more or less solidified, adding things like an intro and a proper ending cutscene came up. An intro would be useful for establishing the setting of the game and the harsh foggy state of the outside world. To that end, I ran over to a craft store and obtained these cheap little wood houses that look like they matched the room layout in game and filmed them on my couch. Ending sequence. In the tradition of 90s games, a live action cutscene seemed like it would make for a fitting end for the game. I wrote the shooting script on my phone's node app. We ran to a local spirit Halloween to obtain a cheap robe costume and shot the whole thing that day. David's seen here being a good sport while I took footage of him in a robe, this time using his relatively blank apartment hallway and a cloth blanket on the floor as the makeshift green screen option. Using different perspectives of David, I was able to assemble a cult ritual sequence in my editing software. It was real convenient the story involves so much obscuring fog as part of the narrative. Key art. Contrary to the other influences, when it came to making the primary marketing art for Night Signal, I wound up painting what I thought would make for a striking Goosebump style cover for the game. The angle, lighting, and colors are all very much inspired by the works of Tem Jacobus. I don't know how to say his last name, sorry. Thanks for reading this far. Night Signal was, above all else, incredibly visceral fun to make. And I hope you could feel that energy in the end result with all its messy handprints. Well, that's awesome. I loved reading this art book because it showcased how creative and unique the dev was and his friends who voice acted and stuff with just, you know, using what they could and what they had, right? Like low budget, but you know, still turning it into something amazing. Take care, be awesome, stay awesome.